Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. We heard uh, in the last uh, 48 hours that the so-called president of USA, Joe Biden, he acknowledged the genocide of the Armenian. I find it very funny and very weird that took them a hundred years to recognize it. <laughs> I mean, this is alone is a genocide. After a hundred years, a hundred and six years, the blessing of the American government to you, Armenian, they recognize it. And you, Armenian, should be jumping from happiness now. That's it. America recognize it. That's it. <laughs> However, the hypocrite Biden is still better than the coward Trump. Because in the time of the coward Trump, just a few months ago, the Ottoman they committed another genocide against the Armenian. And the whole world was watching. The American watching. And not only that, they were arming the Ottoman. You know, naive people don't see the whole image. They get excited. Okay, you know, they recognize the genocide. It looked like Biden is doing something. He did nothing. <laughs> In fact, he called Erdogan a day before telling him, don't be upset. You know the thing. And not only that, the coward Joe Biden did not even go in TV and say it. Where is the guy who recognized it? I want to see. Did he go in TV? Why you don't go in TV and say the old man, they committed the crimes and why you don't do that? Oh, they told him don't do that. If you are an Armenian, or you are not, if you are a person who is against crimes, ask yourself, as long as we acknowledge that the old man they committed the crimes against others. And the crime continue, nothing stopped. I mean, against the Assyrian, against the Kurdish, against everybody. Why America until now is supporting the old man? See, we acknowledge that this army committed human right crimes slaughter more than a million and a half with no mercy. Took them a hundred year. A hundred year to acknowledge it. That alone is a big shame. That is telling you that we don't have, you know, see we say uh, America, the land of freedom, right? Well, we don't, you know, those who they are in the high level, they practice one thing. It's called hypocrisy, not freedom. A hundred year. What about you wait another thousand year? How come? The whole European Union, America, everybody run to say there's a genocide happening in Bosnia. Even though the genocide there is done by Muslims. If it's done by the Serbian, it's done by Muslims too. But when it's come to the poor Armenian, you know, look, let us see why they don't care. It's just 10 million population, a poor country. They are not really imported. They don't have oil. They don't have gas. I mean, who care? But I was thinking about it in a different way. Armenia, 
they sign an agreement with the Russian. America trying to steal Armenia away from the Russian. The same as they do with Ukraine and Belarusia and etc. You see, they, they told the Ukrainian president, if you go in war, we are with you. The same they said to the, to the Georgian president. And when the poor guy, the Georgian president, he went to war, he called George Bush, he said, hey, the Russian is, he is here. They are almost in Tbilisi, the capital. <laughs> George Bush, he was playing golf. He said, told him, I'm not here. They don't care for you. They are trying just to bother Russia, trying to get closer to the borders of Russia. It's just a dirty, filthy game. Did you ask yourself why now? They are building a circle around Russia. All those who they are in good relationship with Russia, we are going to take you away from the Russian. That's all. Otherwise, they don't call it, you know, they, they were watching you. Trump the coward was watching the Armenian being slaughtered just a few months ago. That is the truth. Let us see another hypocrite country. Israel. Armenian, Israel, feeling your pain. This is the Jerusalem Post. What the Jerusalem Post have to say? A lot of things. Israel need to stop arming Azerbaijan. Opinion. So look, look. You know, we support you, Armenian, but we are still supporting the old man until now, because if you guess you do not know, Azerbaijan is the old man still. They believe they are one family, Azerbaijan and Turkey. They send their weapon, their airplanes, their drone, and this is what made the Azerbaijan win the war. All the technology Turkey has is it from USA or from Israel? And all the technology Azerbaijan has is it from Israel. So Armenians, we in Israel, we feel your pain. Actually, we are going to agree that there was a genocide. The Times of Israel newspaper, after Biden acknowledged, acknowledged Armenian genocide, Israel stopped short of doing the same. Wow, that's amazing. But Israel is not a stop shorter, is a mile away arming the one who is attacking you. Killing your children. I mean, do you see the decency? They kill you and they go in your funeral. And they place flowers in the top of your grave. Do you see it? I mean, aren't you ashamed? So you are sorry for the Armenian because they are killed by the Ottoman by millions. And you until now arming the Ottoman to kill the Armenian? Until now, nothing changed. So when one of you says to me, aren't you going to speak about it? Yeah, I was saying to myself, whatever I say is not going to make you happy, my friend. People, they are excited for, they acknowledge it. As if that were making a difference. Hold on, after you acknowledge that the Ottoman, they did this. Are you going to put sanctions on Turkey? Are you going to stop selling them weapon? Are you going to take your bases and 
kick out men from the NATO? No. Are you going to stop buying from them and flourishing their economy? Actually, Turkey, long, not long time ago, almost collapsed. And the American is the one who flood Turkey with money so the country will not collapse. Otherwise, Turkey will not exist by now because if there is no money, the country will be divided. Part will be for the Kurdish, part for be for the, uh, the Iranian, part will be, etc. It was the American who kept Turkey as it is until now. It is the American. So the American government support the beast. It's called Turkey today. And the American government saying to you, Armenian, we acknowledge the genocide. But guess what? We are going to give them more money. And we will arm them, and we will give them weapon, and we will make them, we will allow them even, they, even they made them join to, to, to in, in making the project of the most powerful USA weapon, so they can have the secret of the weapon. But remember, we feel sorry for you, Armenian. Joe Biden, he feel you. Yeah, he care for you. From now on, we will not sell a bullet to Turkey. We will sell only missiles and airplanes. No more bullets. So if the Ottoman decide to kill you in the future, they will not use bullet no more. Do you people understand me? They don't care for you. They don't care for you in the past and they will not care for you in the future. So my advice for the Armenian, my friend, never trust anyone to protect you. Trust yourself. For them, you are nothing but for sale. And those Armenian, they start saying, thank you, Biden, you are a fool. This guy is a fool in you. Turkey, I mean, look, just use your brain. These days, Erdogan is not being the good puppy for USA. They told him, don't buy weapon from Russia. Buy it from us only. He did not listen. He bought from the Russian. They told him, don't attack the Kurdish. They are working for us. He did not listen. He, he loved to kill. He's not being a good puppy. So they want to bother the Turkish government says, listen, if you keep going this way, we can bother you too. If you don't come to our feet as usual, and you are our puppy and you always will be, we can make any excuse to put sanctions on you. You are not the reason, Armenian. The reason is Erdogan is going out of control. They need, he need to be spanked. The Americans showing him his size. If we want now, we can vote in the Congress that no more buying or selling from Turkey and your country will collapse. Literally. If you remember, not long time ago, Trump, he made a post in a Twitter because Erdogan, he arrested a priest claiming that he was supporting Golan, which is false. A priest. Trump, he made a post in Twitter, the currency of Turkey went down 10%. A few days after, he made another post in Twitter, the currency of Turkey went another 5%. In less than a few weeks, Trump, by making a post in a Twitter, he did not put sanctions, he did not do anything. He just said, we might put sanctions, if they do not release him. And the currency is all in, almost going bankrupt. Twitter, it's just a tweet. It took the American a tweet to make Turkey almost collapse. This is how weak this country is. But Turkey is a beast if you are Armenia, you know, a small country, tiny country. You have no sea, you have no friends, you have nobody. And the whole world is watching you being a slaughter. But we cry for you, Armenian. Yeah, you know, we condemn the genocide. Yeah, but we are going to give them weapons so they can shoot you. Yeah, we feel for you. We are going to buy the Turkish product. 
And by the way, I never buy Turkish product. I will never do that. I will never support a country, support beating women, killing those who don't believe in their God, believe women are half a brain, believe Kurdish are, even they call the, they call the Armenian insect. Insect. The friend of Israel, the president of Azerbaijan, he called the Armenian dogs. He said they are dogs. We killed those dogs. We kicked out those dogs. Trump banned from Twitter? Yeah, right. This is the drama, you know, the Trump is banned from Twitter now. So anyway, I say to the Armenian, all of this garbage, my friend, count nothing, mean nothing. Don't, don't, don't say thank you to Biden. Says to him, if you are really truthful, stop buying and selling from them. If you are truthful, the aid you sent to Turkey, send it to us. We are the one who deserve aid. When somebody died by the police, America pay him, the government pay him 10 million, 20 million, 40 million. We have a million and a half of human beings slaughtered, including children and kids. You cannot fix it, you cannot bring them back, but can't you even help them? Armenian society, we feel for you, but we are going to feed the beast who wanna eat you. We will not support you to take back your land, no. But we love you. We are going to support Erdogan so he can swallow more of your land and kill more of your kids. And this is the same what Israel does. I know some of you don't like what I say about Netanyahu, but I believe this guy is a scumbag, literally. He's the biggest fraud in history of Israel. What do you think about the future of Armenia? My friend, it's you who decide your future, not me. Go build your country, arm yourself, never depend on anyone to, do, to defend you. Armenians are smart people, they are genius actually. Extremely smart, so how in the world those old men, they can do that to you? I will tell you why. Because sadly, Armenian, they decide, those who have money, they decide to live in America, they decide to live in, 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 in Europe, but, do, but they don't want to bring their money and invest in their own country and build manufacturers so the country will be strong, flourishing, good army, strong weapon. Look, you are bigger than Israel. Israel is a country of six millions, you are 10. But do Erdogan dare to attack Israel? It's just a simple question to you. Do you think he dare? Do he even dare to fart at Israel? So my friend, if you're an Armenian, support your country, take your money and build your country. Give jobs to your own people. Bring technology to your country. Let them make their own weapon. I know the Armenian, they are not only smart. I mean, when you say Armenian, I'm to I know what I'm talking about. If you wanna fix a machine, take it to an Armenian. Just give it to an Armenian and you will see what he will do. So why the Israeli can do, have such a country, so powerful, but you don't? Israel got USA back in, my friend is the opposite. It's USA getting Israel back in. Israel is more strong than USA if you, if you, if you talk about the power of money and the power of weapon. Israel do not need USA. You see, the Israeli, they get the aid of USA because the stupid American, they give their money to everybody. 
Eh, take it. But do Israel really need USA? Do you think the Israeli, they are safe because of USA? <laughs> Actually, I assure you that those Democrats, they will be willing to send Israel in two seconds in eBay. If it's up to those who they are in the White House right now, and those who they are in the Congress right now, they are willing to put Israel in eBay for sale in two seconds. But Israel protecting itself. Don't make them fool you. Myself, I support the Armenian. I really love them. And I feel sad that you Armenian are not supporting Armenia. What you will do now? You will vote for Biden because he, uh, you know, this is what he want. This is what he want. There is a big population of uh, Armenian in, in USA. I will, you know, look what I did. Trump did not do that. I did it. Suppose you know I'm the hero, but in fact, in reality, he is selling knives to the old man to slaughter your children. Same as the Israeli. Did the Armenian close their embassy in Israel? No. I mean, but come on, they are selling weapon to your enemy and, your, and the enemy have victory over you just because of their weapon. And what the Armenian government do? Nothing. So, We support Armenia, but supporting Armenia, not by saying we acknowledge something happened already. I mean, everybody knows this has happened. What a big deal. You acknowledge it or not? Who care, really? What a, what a victory. And the coward Biden did not even dare to go in TV and say it. This guy is willing to talk about anything. But the time, the, so people are waiting for announcement of, by where is the announcement? Anybody saw it? Somebody saying, because of Democrat, you are here. That is stupid of you to say, my friend. Not because of Democrat, I am here. That is very stupid of you. Because Democrat himself, they are here because of somebody was there before them and they were not Democrat. And by the way, Democrat are the one who fought for slavery. The Democrat are the KKK. Democrat is the one who fought against the black people. And this is history, go read. So you do not know even who is Democrat. This is a party of hypocrisy. They never stand for something good. And they go with the wave. So when the wave became, ah, oh, black people are important for winning election, suddenly they became people who protect black people. But their history always was ugly, disgusting, filthy, killing and going after black people, making them slaves. You do not know history. Who was fighting to keep slavery? It was the Republican. Who was fighting to keep it? It was the Democrat. The one who fighting against it, it was Republican. This is, this is history, go read it. Democrat did not bring me here. The Constitution is not made by the Democrat. And secondly, what does this have to do with our topic, you idiot? And if I am here or not, is that going to change the fact that your country is running by a bunch of hypocrites? So if you bring me here, let us say, Joe Biden is the one who gave me a visa. Hmm? Oh, because he gave me a visa, I should not say the truth about him. Don't talk about his poo poo. This is what you are saying to me. Let's prove that you are a hypocrite yourself. I don't care if I am here or not. If I am not here, I will be in a different place. Still, I will be me. It's not you who made me who I am. 
I was a person of truth wherever I go. Even in the faith in the Middle East. And look at this mentality. Oh, don't talk about Democrat. If not them, you will not be here. That alone is a proof that is Democrat is a scam. So are you saying to me you open the borders for the Mexican, not because you like the Mexican, but because you want them to vote for you? So don't talk about how bad we are. Remember, we are the one who brought you here. Do you see why this party is evil? They think they own you. They think you are their slave if they give you a visa. And no, Democrat did not give me the visa. Never. I remember once when I was for the, going for election as a citizen, the woman, she said to me in the center, oh, you have an accent, where are you from? Because I asked her, where is you know, I, am, I am a Republican. She said, oh, you have an accent, where are you from? I said, I'm Arab. She said, oh, but usually Arab, they, for, they, they vote for Democrat. I said, I'm not stupid. You should see her face. You should see her face. And yes, anyone who vote for Democrat is literally stupid. Look at this stupid Biden. Because he's a hypocrite, he says, oh, we have, we, not, we do not need a wall. Open the borders. Now we have 16, 18,000 little child, have no parents. Who is going to take care of them? Being molested, being, being, being raped in the border because of politically correct, hypocrite person. In America, if you beat a cat, you go to jail. Yet we say to people, hey, we encourage you, dump your children in the borders, let, let the, the drug dealers molest them, let us do sex trafficking, send us more little girls and little boys. Those are the Democrats. Hypocrites. And Nancy Pelosi, she will call the police if you go close to her uh, mansion. She don't want to have a, a, a fence around America, but she has a big fence around her house and bodyguards. If a Mexican jump over the wall, oh boy. You can jump over the borders, but if you jump over Nancy Balusi house, who she have refrigerator in the, in the size of my bedroom, full of chocolate. And they talk about the poor. And by the way, I'm not taking a side. I mean, we have more garbage in the Republican too. <laughs> Don't think it's only, you know. Uh, you know, sometimes the Republican and the Democrat, they, they look like one coin have two faces. This is why I was saying, the coward Trump, hypocrite, potato, idiot. I vote for him because we have no choice. You have two donkeys, one is a mule and one is a donkey. So you have to vote at the end of the day for the same family, a family of donkeys. One who will hit you in the nuts and the other one will hit you in the, in the, in the face. Choose one. I don't take a side and I will never do. I will take side only with the truth. Ali Abraham, all the garbage we see in the front of us is because of the Islam, my friend. We are talking about genocide of one million and a half a human being and says you are not going to Islam. Isn't it your prophet who slaughtered all the Bani Quraida, all the Jews? Is it your prophet who slaughtered all the people and he, he slaved the rest of them of Bani Mustaliq? Genocide is Islam. It is legalized, promoted practice. And we are not talking about in religion. Eh, you know, I can say, okay, 1400 years ago, uh, this is what it, uh, okay, you know, a uh, long time ago. Until now, Islam believe in this. Nothing changed. Islam is uncivilized. Gang cult.
And then in the news, they speak about the big news. Like something big happened, like what happened? And they welcome the announcement from Washington, formally recognizing those past events as a genocide. Poor people. I think it's a great thing that Biden recognizes the Armenian genocide yeah. because the U.S. are a major country and it might have an effect on Turkey. Right, we are a major country. My friend, we will have effect. We will send them more weapon. Okay? So next time they attack you, they will kill you faster. I mean, you will not suffer much. We will give them smart missiles. So next time they attack you, you Armenian, you will not die crying. You will not even have time to cry. <laughs> this is the naive Armenian. They think that, you know, they think that America care for them. They don't. And when I say the American, I mean the government. I don't mean the American. American are, you know, my experience with American, and I am an American citizen now, but I'm not by, by birth. They are wonderful people. For sure, generally speaking, everywhere there is bad and good. But when it's come to the government, I never saw a government do wrong as this government. And it doesn't matter if it's Republican or it is Democrat. Garbage in, garbage out. Brother, we are going to put sanctions in the Assad regime because they are doing things against the human right. Okay, question. How come you don't put sanctions on the Prince of Qatar? Isn't it Trump who says they are number one supporting country for terrorists? All the money of Al-Qaeda and ISIS is coming from Qatar and Turkey. For sure Turkey don't have money, but it's coming through Turkey. We have videos documented by the Turkish themselves, journalists, that the Turkish intelligence, they were smuggling weapon to ISIS. So you put sanctions on the Assad, but you don't put sanctions in Erdogan. All those years you claim that you are fighting ISIS. How come you go blind in Turkey arming ISIS? How come you are so good to notice that the Russian, they took a Crimea, but you don't notice that Turkey took half of Syria already? I don't know what to say. The truth hurt. We've been waiting for this for years. We wanted this before Biden. Many made promises. Trump did, and so did those before him, and we waited. We keep waiting, and now Trump, he did promise, but he did not do it. Now Biden, he did it. But Biden was a vice president, and Obama, he was there too, but they never did it too. So what happened now? Yeah, they are just showing Turkey that we can do something to you you don't like. For Turkey is not playing as they wish. As simple as that. The American, they treat Erdogan as a donkey. And this donkey, he needs to spank from time to time. That's all. And they are using you. They are using you now. To scream at Turkey to say, hey, come back to our feet. Otherwise, we can take more actions. We just showed you one. They don't care for you. First of all, somebody saying he don't like Turkey. My friend, there's nothing it's called Turkey. This is a land is a theft. They steal the land and then they change the name of the land. Like... What is the country, what is the city it's called Istanbul? Istanbul, what is that? This is Constantinia. All of Turkey is a collection of stolen land, either from the Kurdish, either from the Syrian, either from the Greek, either from the Armenian. What Turkey? 
Can you tell me where Turkey was located before the Ottoman Empire? Where, where is that? It's not about I don't like Turkey, but we saw nothing from since this state is established except crimes, genocide, killing, or raping. Like Muhammad, he go to the land of the Jews, Yathrib. They welcome him. They give him a house. He lived between them until he got strong, and then he killed them all. He take the city. He changed the name. <clears throat> so my friend, same as you know, like Egypt. Is this the land? Is this is the land of the of Islam? No, this is the land of the Coptic. Everybody knows. They took over, they came over Egypt, and now it is called the uh, the, uh, the the Republic, the Arab Republic of Egypt. This? this is Africa, the Arab. Same as Syria, the Syrian Rep uh, uh, Arab Republic. Syria, it's called Syria. The language is Syriac. This is why it's called Syria. Same for Iraq. This is the land of the Babylon and the the, the Syrian. Nothing coming good from this country. My friend, who is 89 years old, happy birthday, my friend, no problem. But as you see, we have important topic, and um, I don't know why anyone wanna celebrate his birthday. If it's up to me, I will never celebrate that day. Well, I did not come to heaven, I came to this hell. Genocide, hate, killing, corruption, hypocrisy, politically correct, nobody dare to say the truth, that the king is naked, and you want us to celebrate birthday? If I am you, I will not. So those poor Armenian, there's nothing is called Turkish Christians. Those are not Turkish. Those are the owner of the land. Depend in their their origin. So if you are a, 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 a Christian who live in Turkey, my friend, you are a person either belong to the Greek or belong to the Syrian, Syriac, or to the Assyrian, or to the Armenian. They choose one. There's nothing is called Turkish Christian. Now, it's possible that there's some they converted, but I don't think they will allow you to convert if you are originally from the children of the old man. Anyway, I have nothing, I'm not against an ethnic group. I'm against the crime this country committed through history. Even the Arab, they made a revolution against the Ottoman aggression. And they are Muslims like them. Uh, why are you against this? This is your religion, which come to Africa and converted them, except who had Muslim empire. I don't know, Yo-Yo, what you are talking, but I like your name because look, you are like Allah. Allah is the God Yo-Yo who keep coming every night in the third part of the night. And because your God, his name is Yo-Yo, and you chose this name, so your Yo-Yo text does not make sense. First of all, if you are African and you became a Christian, you keep your heritage, not like in Islam. You will go, you will see a Muslim who is an African, who have a culture, who have a tradition, who have his own clothing, he have his own songs, he have his own music. Suddenly Islam come, you became an Arab. 
In Christianity, we don't steal your heritage. With Christ, Christ, he love you as you are, as a black person, as an Asian person, as a Zulu or not. In Islam, no. The Arab have to hijack you. And this is the truth. Your clothes, your food, your names. You have to talk like the Arab, you have to speak like the Arab, and you have to eat like the Arab. And if you don't do that, you are not a Muslim. In Christianity, no. You accept the Christ, and you stay African, and you sing as African, and you talk as African, and you eat as African. Because the Christ is not about a race. Christ for all. Islam is about superior Arab white people. The only reason you will not become a Christian because a Christian could not win over my country. <laughs> okay, don't see this is this is this is how stupid you are. So you are not being a Christian or not a Christian or a Muslim uh, because of uh, what is convincing or what. It's not about someone win a country. You are a win boy. Yeah, yeah. So now, if your mother-in-law, she is big and strong, and she spank you every day, you will change your religion because your mother-in-law win. Don't, don't come here. Go out of here. I have no time for a stupid talk. Sitting with the fool will not make you smarter. Listening to them will have an impact on you. Either you go, either you go crazy, or you jump from the window. Yo-yo. So do you want us to come as an invasion and do Allahu Akbar, and then you will become a Christian, that's what you want? I don't know what's wrong with people. So, just let us, to make it more clear, let us play this, uh, this little short video here. In 1915, a million Armenians were brutally murdered by Ottoman Turks. Hmm. This is Dutch, Dutch Valley. The million and a half became a million. I mean, that's just a chop of 500,000. The million and a half became a million. Next year, they will make them 800,000. Potatoes. Many more were deported and sent on death marches into the Syrian desert. Armenians have long campaigned for the crimes against their people to be recognized internationally. Anyway. To make it short, if you are an Armenian or if you are a person who support freedom, support justice, don't get happy for what Biden did. He is a coward. He did nothing. He is still arming your enemy, making them stronger, feeding them every day, supporting their economy. And he have a troop in their land to protect them. We have a huge bases in Turkey to protect Turkey. And we pay them a lot of money every year. And the poor you think that Joe Biden care for you. He don't. You are sold out, and the devil is the one you are dealing with.
this is my opinion you don't like mm, what I say you don't you don't have to think like me I think differently what I can do I don't get excited for this news because this is a hypocrisy news the same as the Israeli are crying for you you know we feel sorry we feel sorry for the you know we feel sorry and look 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 at look at the trade business between us and them look how much money they make from us look how much money we provide Erdogan every year but brother we are against the crimes of Erdogan he killed a lot of Kurdish brother he supported Isis he took half of Syria he stole the oil of Syria he stole even the ancient antique of Syria all the old buildings of Syria is they took it off a pieces and sold in Turkey in auction by the mafia of Erdogan but brother in America we did not notice it we did not see it and brother Israel too support you they feel for you but because we feel for you we are going to arm Azerbaijan so next time you go in war with Azerbaijan the Ottoman they will kill you faster in Israel we care really for Armenian they are brothers Israel need to stop arming Azerbaijan opinion and if you read the article they are saying the opposite My friend, I know that nobody was with you. This is what I'm saying to the Armenian. Get ready for war in order to be ready for peace. What happened to the Armenian, my friend? They trusted the Russian, they trusted the American, and this is what happened, happened. When the real war happened and Turkey joined the army, you are not fighting Azerbaijan, we knew that you are fighting Turkey. The American are watching, the Russian are watching, and all your neighbors are enemies. You are left alone. We knew that. But the question is, don't you know? Why you don't know? Why you are not ready? Why you trust foreign countries to protect you? That is a big mistake. If I am in charge of Armenia, I will arm my country to be ready because nothing can make peace as powerful army of your country this is the only way to have peace otherwise we have a lot you know the the, the, the earth is like you know a bunch of dogs big dogs when I buy the small dogs so if you are a small tiny sheep they will be fighting over you not to protect you And this is what happened to the Armenian poor people. They were fighting over who want to buy them, not who want to protect them. Azerbaijan is full of gas, money, oil. That is the case. If Armenia is the one have the gas and the oil, trust me, Biden will be the first one there. And Trump, Trump, he will love you very much. Do you remember when Saddam Hussein took over Kuwait? Suddenly, America sent 250,000 soldiers to free a country in the size of a farm in Texas. Actually, I assure you, a farm in Texas is bigger than the Kuwait country. Canada, brother, Australia, United Kingdom, France, Belgium. I mean, nobody left. The whole world is coming to save Kuwait. Money. Money. In the same time, there's a country in Africa was burning between fighting between two tribes the zulu and the well, i don't know what the other one and hundreds of thousands being burned alive and slaughtered the american did not see it 
They did not even send one soldier to stop the massacre. I mean, come on, those are poor African. Killing each other, let them have fun. But in Kuwait, brother, we have to send 250,000. We want to save Kuwait. From who? From Saddam Hussein. Criminal Saddam Hussein. But Saddam Hussein, when he was fighting, Iran was a hero, the same as Osama bin Laden. <laughs> this is our puppy. If you go in the news, you will see that Osama bin Laden, there's an article written about him that he is a hero who sacrificed his worth to defend his religion. In Washington Post, in a New York Post journalist, praising Osama bin Laden because he was biting different country, he was biting the Soviet Union. So as long as you are our dog and you bite somebody else, you're good. The second the dog, he start biting them, he's bad. Israel fund everybody. I don't know about that. Israel not fund. Israel take money from everybody. They sell. They don't fund. I never heard of funding. Yeah, exactly. Rwanda between the Tutsi and the, uh, the Hutu and the Tutsi. You are right. Yeah. Just because they are poor, nobody care. Why Israel? What does Israel have to do with Azerbaijan? I mean, look at this uh, 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 unbelievable stuff. Those people, they are Islamist. They believe Israel is anti-Islam. And they believe they have to free Jerusalem from Israel. And they believe that the Prophet told the truth that the Jews should be killed. So why Israel is arming Azerbaijan? The answer is very simple. The scumbag who is the head of the government, all that he care for is the money of Azerbaijan. What they believe is not my business. As long as they cannot do it, let us take their money. Do you understand? And look, because our topic is Azerbaijan, sorry, is Armenia, we have only 700 people listening. If we are talking about lipstick, we will have 10,000. You go on YouTube and you see life, sometimes like YouTube, but you know, like live broadcast. And you look, there's a woman, she is, uh, she bought a new uh, shoes. She has four or five thousand watching. Life. Come on, it's an important topic. New shoes. How to get discount from Zara. But Armenian being killed, who is going to watch this? Who care, right? No, what take it easy? This is the truth. You know, I'm not, you see, I'm just sharing with you with the truth. I'm not, I mean, I cannot be angry more than anger can give because the earth is, is really filthy. We make a video extremely full of information and then after two days we have like 16, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000. A woman, she tried a bikini. In the half day, she will make what I will make in the coming 10 years. This is the truth. And the poor me, I lose my voice sit all day behind the computer when I honestly when you go to stand up to walk it hurt because you are sitting for long and I am the person who, when I sit in the computer I don't know I don't it's described to you I mean like I my muscles is like stretch because I am so passionate about what I do and what I say so not stretch I should do the opposite word I don't know see how funny my English <laughs> it's like I don't know it's like so tough But then you say to yourself, you know what, if there is a hundred people watch, better than nobody, no. At least I'm doing my part. 
At least I'm showing the truth. It's better to light a candle in the dark from complain about darkness. When you see people taking pictures with the Armenian victims, and they made a crime of a country a reason to prize that country and to give them support and to make them join the NATO and to arm them, that is the most disgusting thing. Otherwise, I'm not. I have nothing to do with the Turkish. Why? When I, I don't hate Turkish people, but I'm not going to support a country do everything wrong. I'm not going to arm a beast regime like Erdogan, and this is exactly what the West keep doing, and they never stop doing that. There's tons of thousands of people they are in jail in Turkey already. How come USA don't see the violation of a human right and put sanctions on Turkey? Why are we still doing business with them? How come when the, uh, the government of Myanmar or Burma, they arrested uh, 500 people? Oh, Biden is so crazy. What are you talking about? You cannot do that. But tens of thousands in jail in Turkey. Biden, he don't. It's okay. Still, we have our army there. We give them their money. Every year we pay them. Every year we pay them a hell of money in return of our bases. We do not need those bases. You see, those bases are exist long time ago for a reason, because Soviet Union was all over to Poland, to north of Germany, to east of Germany. Now all of those countries are with you. They are even the NATO. You do not need them. You do not need Turkey at all. And in the world today, who need a base anyway? The coming war will not go into use bases. The coming war is going to be either virtual, like attack by internet, or nuke missiles. Or creating tsunami as the Russian they made the new weapon where they can flood all USA by tsunami just by sending us a few missiles. And the Russian are our neighbors. Many people think that the Russian are not far, are far. The Russian is just in the corner of USA. They are in Alaska. This is a very huge country to the point they are in the corner of our country. So anyway, I hope that the Armenian they understand and they listen. That if you want not to be killed, executed, and nobody will do genocide to you again, you better be ready. Because that enemy who hate you to death he is still there and he is so big. And he will not hesitate to do it again. If you trust Biden to protect you, you are a fool. If you trust the Russian to protect you, you are more fool. Nobody protect you except yourself. If you don't see, if you don't like to see women, your women being raped, killed, and your children's tortured, be ready for the bad days so you can live a good days. I'm not going to keep you longer. My love to the Armenian people, I feel for you, I support you. But you are expecting the beast to protect you. 
Biden is a beast, or what he care is to be a president, or what he care to win coming election, or what he care to control other countries. Same as Trump, he is no better. They don't care for you. Nobody care for you. And if you don't care for yourself, why other will care for you too? So if you're an Armenian who live in USA, you're an engineer who study technology, go and open, do something to your country, make your country powerful, manufacture something, create something, so other countries will not play games again with your country. Take your money and support your country. Supporting your country is not by walking in the street carrying the flag of Armenia. Because doing that did not stop the massacre against your nation just a few months ago. I want to say thank you all for being here. And again, you don't have to agree with me. And I don't really care who agree, who don't. But we have to say the truth. Uh, I don't know how many of you download my previous video. As I promise, I will keep it only for a few hours and then I'm going to take them down. And same for this one. So download it if you care. And maybe most of you will not care. Maybe maybe an Armenian or two will, will, will care for this. As usual, you know, I mean, nobody care really. Uh, people like to watch comedy game and don't give us a drama, right? Just give us something fun, you know. It's, it's funny, we will download it. You know, a cat playing with the with the with the with the with a chick. Fifteen view, fifteen million view. Very important topic. Like share a cat playing with a chicken. Yeah. Extremely important. Everybody share that. Yeah. Amazing word. So thank you everybody. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you again. Christ is Lord. And never put your trust on a man. For man is corrupt, man is a sinner, man is doing business, man is for sale. Only God is the one who never change. And if you are a Christian, we love peace, yes. We are against war, yes. But a smart Christian is the one who is ready for war, so the evil will not take over his house. So the evil will, one will not rape his wife. Being ready for war is not because you are evil, but because you are going to stop against evil in case it happened. So be ready to fight evil, but not to be evil. This is my message to the Armenian. Thank you all. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. Christ is our Lord, our Savior. And we may the Lord bless Armenian people, protect them. At the same time, open their eyes to be vigilant, strong, smart, and support their own land. Take care.